Hey everybody, back with another Limb Saver Pro Staff video. Today I've got the Limb Saver AR-15 Snap-on Recoil Pad. Uh, this pad in particular is uh, uh, designed to fit on uh, just the standard uh, butt stocks that come with uh, AR-15s. Uh, this one I've got on here is just a standard DPMS um, stock. It's nothing, nothing fancy. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this real quick. It just makes it easier to install. Um, maybe a little bit safer as well, just a precaution. So I'm going to get the gun out of here. So um, the stock itself is pretty simple. There's a shelf that uh, um, the stock or the, that the pad itself is going to just uh, kind of uh, fit over, and uh, it's the exact same shape as that uh, the rear plate on the on the stock. You'll notice that there are actually two. Um, tabs that uh, kind of correspond with some cutouts or some kind of blank areas on the side of the, the shelf and I'll show you how to um, how those uh, go over in just a second so I start by putting uh, the pointy end to the bottom of the stock into the corresponding pointy end and putting one of the tabs over that kind of blank spot on the shelf of the of the stock I'll turn it over and put the other one on there and then I'm just going to use a little bit of muscle and I'm just going to kind of push and at the same time uh, pull up on the recoil pad to um, to get the uh, uh, material to go over the uh, the back plate on the buttstock so yep there it is it's installed and um, it took a little bit of muscle but uh, you know it's not it's not too bad some stocks are just slightly larger and require a little bit more muscle. Some are a little bit smaller and actually go on pretty easy. So, and lastly, you just put it back on your gun, just like that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of talk a little bit about the, the recoil pad. Um, the pad itself is really, really squishy, and it's really, really nice. Those larger calibers, 458 SOCOM, uh, they've got some 762 by 39. Uh, guns that these stocks fit, you know, the, the AKs and, and some other platforms, even some of the um, shotguns have them uh, on there, so 12 gauges. They really, really help. Highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this pad just so you guys can see it again. And the way uh, that I start is, uh, you know, always uh, make sure that the pad is oriented in the, the right direction, so you want that pointy end uh, going in on the bottom of the recoil or the excuse me the stock and I usually start by inserting the um, pointy end and then uh, taking one of the flaps and kind of putting putting it over and then I, I flip it put the other flap over on that on that cutout section on the on the shelf and uh, and then kind of simultaneously uh, pushing the stock into the uh, the recoil pad and then pulling the recoil pad up and over so it's kind of a two-part action and uh, that went in really easy um, sometimes they don't get it go in that easy and you got to use a little bit more muscle but I just did it a second ago it's probably stretched out a little bit but there you go it's in it is a fantastic um, piece of kit I have them on several of my guns uh, that they'll fit on the others I have uh, the limb saver um, uh, Magpul, which is virtually the same thing. So, but if you want to cut a little bit of more recoil out, you have a larger caliber, or you just uh, want to be able to shoot all day and not have any issues, check it out. Limbsaver.com. This is a fantastic addition to any AR-15.